So check the guild for more quests. Let's talk to Mr. Alvin Ben. Sure something to suit you. Mr. Alvin Blacksmith. And we can sell some stuff. This iron longsword. Uh, I think we get a premium for the iron one longsword because he actually wants one. And we have it. So we're going to give in to supply and demand. We're gonna go ahead and sell the U crossbow. Um, and I think we can sell the U longbow as well. And we're gonna buy the best quality longbow we can get, which is the U longbow. So I just wasted money. Yeah, wasting money is so much fun. Oh wait a minute, actually I can I can buy that. I've got enough gold for that. What the hell am I smoking? Okay, we can't buy the ebony longbow, but we can buy the oak longbow, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We do that! And let's switch our equipment out really quick so I don't forget to do that later. Hey, yep. Oh, it's already automatically equipped. Great. Perfect. Okay. Let's see, there should be a couple side quests to do in town. One involving this little girl. Hey, me. Going on up there. Oh god, follow you. This guy wants uh, Orchard Farm. Okay, great. Let's just follow little girl. Hi, little girl. What do you want? Skies. Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. He's Polly? It's me boy. My poor little boy. Oh, poorly. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these... These strange mushrooms. Oh, dear. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry. But she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Sure, I can help you. But, um, I'm gonna sit outside this guy's house for a second because... <laughs> this kid sells, says some really funny stuff, if I can get him to say some funny stuff. Hey. Hey, talk. My body is made out of sugar. I hope I don't fall into a cup of tea. <laughs> We're just gonna listen to these for a second. I hope you don't mind. Go away, headless monkey. I don't like your eyes. Nothing is real. We're just pixels and our brains are just numbers. Whoa. <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Good stuff. All right, the tavern cellar doors unlock when the statue at Lookout Point is pointing towards Bowerstone. We might have to coordinate that later. I might do that off camera and show off. I'm not gonna do off camera actually. I'm gonna do it on camera because I don't do anything off camera anymore. Um, that was something I was gonna talk about actually. While we're robbing this house blind, I'll go ahead and talk about that. Um, from now on, everything I record is being live streamed because there's no reason not to. I use OBS for recording now, um, which means that my microphone level and my um, my microphone level and my uh, da, 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 sound level in game are on the same track, which means I can't modify the sound of the game in response to the sound of my voice. But. The good thing is, I can seamlessly record and stream at the same time with no latency or lag. So whenever I am uh, recording, there will be an announcement on Twitter about me recording. And if you see it, you can come straight in. Say hello. Uh, I might edit you out of uh, exactly what I'm talking about if it's important at the time, but... Um, Oh dear, this woman. What's the foot then? This, this lady probably wants this out of her house. Yeah, excuse me. Okay. So you're the chicken chaser, are you? I know the shops are closed because it's getting to night time, so we won't be able to do the quest in the Bowerstone Quay just yet. I also don't think we'll be able to do the quest up in. Well, maybe. Hang on. Let's look. Yeah, school's in session, so we can't talk to them either. So, I guess there's not really anything for us to do in Bowerstone because everything in Bowerstone happens during the day. Sadly enough. So we'll just have to come back. And on that note, um, I think this is going to be where we take a pause for now. We... Oh, 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 no. 
No, dang, I just remembered. I completely forgot to pick up the dang shovel. Ah! That was the one thing I needed to do and I completely forgot to do it. Well, that blows. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so I tell you what, we're gonna just pause right here. Um, when it turns daytime again, we're going to get all of the side quests going. Um, I'm probably just gonna sit and let the game run until the daytime comes around again because there's no really easy way to do that. Or is there? Or is there, actually? I might have just given you a giant red her herring because I just remembered I can do something. And that something I can do is... Take a night's sleep. And I think this forces it to be daytime. It does. Awesome. Okay, never mind. We're gonna keep going. Sorry. <laughs> if you already turned the video off, my bad. I forgot you could do that. Alright, cool. So, let's go ahead and do sure this first. To suit you. Um... Shovel? No. Okay. No shovel. Market Keeper. You Maybe he's got a right shovel. Place. Health potions, fake wedding rings, no! Oh, there it is! Yeah, he's got shovels! He's got shovels for days. Let's buy up a shovel. Let's also buy up a fishing rod, because why not, actually? Uh, yeah. That's important. Um, we could get a fishing rod for free later, but, uh, I'm gonna ah, take it if it is. <laughs> Don't interrupt me! Guildmaster, jeez. Can I turn his hints off? Hang on. Advanced options. No gameplay options. Off! Thank goodness. Let's just turn all of those off. Done. There we go. I think that'll keep the Guildmaster from interrupting us. Alright. So, uh, now that it's daytime again, the first thing we're gonna do is go talk to the school children over here, because I think class is now in session, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe? Yeah. Here he comes. Here's his green dot. And this is the book collection side quest. We're gonna go ahead and give him a few books. Oh, not that it's much of a school these days, the way Lady Grey keeps slashing her funding. Yeah, you preach in the choir, brother. Can you believe she sold half her library? As if mansions were more important than the education of our children. I don't know, in this economy, it might be. Actually, I'm not sure which is worse, housing market or education reform. Uh, okay, well that got really depressing really quickly, I'm sorry. Anyway, if you could donate any suitable books you find on your travels, you'd be doing us a great favor. Hell yeah. Where Let's are you do going it. then? Ooh, do you have a donation there, hero? <laughs> and the story of Jack of Blades should keep the little ones in line? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's give him Jack of Blades. Um, I'm gonna listen to all of these because they're kind of funny to see how the kids react to all the stories. And I'm not gonna actually read the books, so having someone read them to me is optimal. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. Who's the red-robed warrior that brings death and destruction to all of Albion? Jack! Who's the legend in the mask? with the strength of ten heroes. It's Jack! Who's the demon that stalks in the night, dragging their children into hell? Jeez. Jack! Some say that Jack of Blades has lived forever and is not of this world. But there are those who claim it is not Jack, but his mask that we should fear and that many men have worn it over the centuries. Whatever the truth, he is not someone to be crossed. Oh, hello! Ooh, do you have a donation oh, there, the hero? Killer of chicken, chicken oh. chaser! Wow, these kids really love me being chicken chaser. Well, there's the repentant alchemist, but I, I'm not sure it's really suitable reading for children. Oh, God. Can we let him... 
Oh my god, yes! The repented alchemist! Uh, I suppose it can't do any harm. Yeah, you can give him bad books too. Bad books and good books. Five and twenty years have I tended this inn. Not knowing my wife was living in sin. For while I served the townsfolk ale by day, at night my wife served them in another way. <laughs> oh, no. But soon they'll regret leading her astray. When next they sip my ale, it will be their lives that pay. He who hath slept with my love will die at its taste. Then I shall see if any among them can call themselves chaste. Uh, thank you, Billy. <laughs> I think that's enough for today. <laughs> oh, Billy. All right, all right, all right. Another story, another story. What's he like? Ooh, do you have a donation there, hero? Oh, my. The Windbreaker rule book. Avo alone knows what would happen if the children got hold of this. Yes, let me let me read it to him. Let me do it. Come on. Yes, yes. Well, if you think that's wise, hero, <laughs> do it. Today we will be reading from the Windbreaker Rule Book. Perhaps the gentleman who gave us this book could demonstrate the uh, benefits of its teachings himself. <laughs> I see. Well, that was most edifying. But I really don't... Yay! Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Something must have crawled up inside him and died. Ah! Shit! <laughs> My God! Please, mind your language in front of the children. Oh dear, I knew this was a mistake. Chicken! <laughs> Shit! Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Maybe. What's this? Eyes of a killer? <laughs> Yes, well, uh, strictly uh, speaking, we try not to raise any murderers in our school. Oh, no. Yes! Uh, I suppose it can't do any harm. Oh, my God, this is so great. Now, uh. uh, I really hope none of you follow the teachings of this book, uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, you should learn to recognize the signs of evil. There are many ways a person can instill fear in others, such as covering one's body in tattoos and wearing dark clothes. But a truly scary person is able to express his evilness through actions alone. Let's see how this works. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Uh, would you regale us with an evil sneer, perhaps? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very effective. <laughs> the kids seem unfazed. Uh, now, uh, according to this book, uh, you can also make yourself scary by performing terrible crimes, such as uh, killing innocents. <laughs> About so time, I, 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 I think we'll leave that chapter for uh, another day. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> all the kids are like, uh... I'm in class. Let's all say thank you. To the nice hero. Do you know anything about it? Do you have a donation there, hero? I think so. The Book of Spells. <laughs> this is some potty this isn't some potty school for wizards, you know. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad. The Book of Spells. Okay. We can't actually give him the Book of Spells, but the potty school for wizards thing is obviously a dig at Harry Potter. Um. All right, so that's just a few. We'll we'll get some better books as we're going along. Uh, they're actually good books. You can get them like the uh, the uh, ones that talk about the creatures of Albion are good books. And depending on if you give them good books or bad books, um, it changes the reward you get from doing that. So 
We will try to give him mostly good books, but I'm probably just going to give him whatever I find because it's funny and no, that's all I care about. No, don't tell me. You were sent here by an irritating young lady, the one with the comatose kid. Don't look so surprised. I am a witch, you know. I read tea leaves on Thursdays. Besides, uh, you're not the first fool she sent my way. Find me four blue mushrooms and I can brew up an antidote. But there's no hurry. The stuff won't kill him. <laughs> the little tyke's probably having the time of his life. He be trippin'. Trippin' balls. Blue shrooms. All right. Finally, there's this last quest down here with this guy. And this is the Beardy Bald Hello, quest. Keith. Which is going to take a little while to I do because we have to go maybe if you'd come forth and back from the hairstylist multiple times, and this is the one that's kind of a little annoying to show. So I'm just gonna probably skip to the end of this one and show you the result. So the whole point of doing this was to meet this guy's daughter. Um, and I'm starting to feel a little bit silly in response to this quest. Trader style mustache. Ugh. You're needed at all. Oh my fire. god. <laughs> That's horrible. Terrifying. Simply terrifying. Well, I got your whole ensemble, mutton chops, freaking traitor mustache, look like the Resident <laughs> Evil 4 guy. Everyone's laughing at me. Nice selection of face fungus you have there. But yep. to be honest, I don't give two hoots what you look like. And neither does my daughter. What? She doesn't even exist. I just like making heroes like you look stupid. Why, I have you oughta... seen yourself? You look ridiculous. I'm a gonna... you make me happy. So here's a little reward. Now go and have a shave. Oh, fire monkey tattoo. Well, I guess that makes it better, because that's a really awesome tattoo. Whatever. I guess it was worth it. In the end, I just hope I have enough money for actually being able to shave, because I do look really, really, really dumb. Ugh. Let's go back and fix this really quick. Blech. Oh. Yes, I know, it's funny. Everyone's laughing. Everyone's having a great time. Clean shave. You're needed at Orchard Farm. I'll keep the what pudding basin, that's not mind, too bad. Alright, with that done, we have finished off all of the little minor what-have-you side quests in Bowerstone. We need to be on the lookout for books. Probably gonna head back to the Heroes Guild next and do a little bit of browsing the libraries there to see if we skipped any books, do some fishing in the woods, figure out what's there, and proceed with the rest of the quests and whatnot after that. But I'm gonna take a break because this has been going for a couple hours and I need to pace myself more in my Let's Plays so I'm not running out of breath. But I haven't recorded like this in a month. Um, I've been uh, with a partner for the last few times I uh, actually recorded, so uh, I hope my sol solo commentary is still decent. Um, give me some pointers and advice, and hey, uh, if the quality's bad or something, tell me what I can do to fix it. Um, always open hearing opinions. If you like the series, leave a thumbs up or whatever. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, another thing is I'm going to be streaming with Fireweaver uh, for Extra Life, which is coming up. It should be a Saturday or something. Um, check our Twitter feeds for uh, news on that, but it's a charity event for the kids, helping the children, and it's a 24-hour live stream, and I've got a section dedicated it in it to doing stuff. I'm probably going to play Dark Souls or something. I don't know. Not sure what game I'll do yet, but it should be fun, and it's all for the good of the youngins, so it's all good with me. I'm glad I'm finally being able to do a charity event. It's kind of what I dreamed of doing with this uh, channel to start with. Um, Markiplier and uh, the other guys that raise a lot of money for charities uh, by live streaming and stuff that always appealed to me, and I wanted to turn my channel into something positive eventually. So, hey, 
If this is the start, then that's great and makes me feel wonderful. So, I thank everyone that watches my videos and uh, for keeping up with me. And um, now that I'm in a new place where I can record 10 times easier, I expect a flood of content. But past that, it's the same as always, still Super Unicorn Gamer. And I am glad to have all of you. So, until next time, boys and girls, I will see you probably within Albion. Um, as we continue our adventures. And hopefully the recording will glitch out and make me angry and upset and want to not do the series this time because that was really disappointing last time when I was playing through this game. Um, another thing is future series is um, you guys are probably going to get your Bioshock Infinite playthrough pretty soon because I forgot that I hadn't done that yet. And then after Bioshock Infinite... Uh, I need to go back and finish Skyrim at some point, and uh, those are the other two series I'm looking at right now. When it comes up on my anniversary, I think I'm going to be covering another Hitman game. Um, that's it. Sorry, just minor channel announcements and stuff that's been going on. Uh, I might uh, talk about it in more detail if I'm streaming one day for some reason. Uh, just wanted to keep you all up to date, and uh, that about wraps it up. So, see you all next time.